as a federal judge, how would you deal with the situation in which you interpret a statute and at the end of that interpretive process, you conclude that it's going to lead you to a result that you don't like, that, that, that makes you uncomfortable? How do you deal with that in that circumstance? And does it matter whether it's one that you don't think Congress subjectively intended? Senator, I would suggest that that might be one of the most difficult things a judge has to do to make the conscious effort to set aside her own uh, opinions and thoughts about what the outcome should be and base it solely on what the law is and what the facts are. So if I were interpreting a statute in your hypothetical, I would look first to what the statute says read the law, read the law, read the law, apply it to the facts that have been presented to me by the litigants, and look to precedent, whether in the Fifth Circuit or in the Supreme Court, which would be binding precedent, and I would be bound to um, uphold and apply that precedent, and hope for a just decision. My personal religious views, or any judges, should not enter the picture. So I would not enter or begin any discussion on an outcome based thinking about how I wanted to end up because I think that's the wrong approach. I have to follow the law and what the statute says. That would be my approach. What it, what it says um, what it says matters. What, what, what it, it matters what Congress said, the words that Congress used more than, uh, more than what it meant. So what about that circumstance where you find something where you think Congress might have subjectively intended something else? Again, Senator, I would go by the words of the, of the statute. I know a little bit about what Congress does and have great respect for how you come about uh, in drafting statutes. The, I would follow the words of the statute and precedent. And follow where that leads me and hope that it leads me to a just conclusion for the litigants before me.